everyone, it's me, Tiffany. Tonight, I have a special treat for you. I am going to be trying the Turn Instant Ramen into a luxurious meal hack that I've been seeing on TikTok and Instagram. I'm not gonna lie, I did try this already and I wasn't really a fan, but I did forget a key ingredient, garlic. So I'm gonna do it again, hopefully with all the ingredients this time and because I'm filming it, it will turn out delightful. I got my little stove here, gonna turn it on. Okay, <laughs> add the water. I'm going to cook my noodles first. This is Tokyo Chicken Momosan Ramen. I got it from Costco. I've only eaten this once. It gave me a really intense stomach ache after, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time but it's the only ramen I have in the house, so it'll have to do. I'm gonna wait for this to boil, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the other steps. What we need to luxurify this ramen is garlic, an egg, kewpie mayo. I freaking love kewpie mayo. It just tastes so much better than regular mayo. I don't know what about it. Maybe there's some secret ingredient, but I'm a big fan of kewpie mayo. So I guess I'll just start off by chopping some garlic. It does say to grate it, but I don't like to grate things because one time I was grating something and then I grated my pinky finger and a little bit of skin came off. So I think it's safer for you to chop it and hopefully I don't give myself a manicure and cut off my nails or something. So what have you guys been up to? I will give you an update on what I've been up to. I've been taking a lot of classes, acting classes and improv classes. I just finished my last class at the Groundlings and we had a show online and it was fun, but unfortunately I did not pass. So I will need to retake that, which is cool. I like improv, I like performing. To be honest, I was really worried that if I did pass, I would be bored without having taken to take the class again. So I guess it's good to take the class again, but it is three hours twice a week. So it's kind of time consuming. What else? I just filmed a commercial today. So that was exciting. Um, I have to prepare for an audition for two roles. And yeah, I should probably do this. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. <laughs> How come whenever I film a food video, it always, Turns into a disaster. All right, we got the ramen. Put that in there. Oopsie, come on. All righty, all righty, chill. Garlic, okay, maybe I'll just mince it up a little bit more. Maybe I should turn this down a little. It's getting a little too excited. I'm going to transfer the garlic into the bowl. I gotta turn this down, it's getting a little too crazy. Okay. Next, I'll just measure out some Kewpie mayo. It says one or two tablespoons. Um, I don't want to measure it, so I'm just going to use this spoon. Uh, let's say that's one. And, okay. Let's say that's like one and a half. And then we need to use the soup packets. Let's see what else is in here. Soup packet and liquid seasoning. Should I use both? Oh, that's a lot. Eh, okay. I'm not sure what this liquid seasoning is, but I assume it just goes with it. Oh, it it's like an oil. Oh, don't splash on me. Squirt, squirt. Oh, okay. I have in the bowl the minced garlic, QB mayo, and the soup add-ins of the instant ramen. I'm just gonna stir that up. Then I'm going to add an egg. To be honest, I feel like adding the raw egg and then adding the water is kind of sus. Like, I don't know if that cooks the egg completely and I don't wanna get salmonella. So, salmonella, 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 sal, sal. Hopefully this works. Since the noodles are not done yet, I guess I'll cut up some of these green onions. Ooh, I almost burned myself. Oh, I did burn myself, great. 
So I want to tell you guys why I took a break from YouTube. Basically, I was making YouTube videos every week and I really wanted to be consistent, but I started to feel like I was making YouTube videos because I felt like I had to as opposed to wanting to. And I wanted to get back into the pace where I was making YouTube videos to make them. When I started creating content, it was just because I thought it was fun and I wanted to, not because I felt like I had to do it. As you may have noticed, I've been uploading a lot of my TikToks to YouTube and I do want to keep making these longer videos. They always tend to be food based because if I wasn't doing comedy, I'd probably just be eating all the time. I do have a couple ideas coming up. I'm also really into crafting, if you noticed, and I have some unfinished crafts that I'd love to film if you guys are interested. But yeah, I hope to keep uploading videos and just want to let you know why I took a little bit of a break and hope you're okay with that. Okay, actually, is this done? I need to... Okay, that seems pretty done. So I'm going to add the egg to our little saucy sauce. Oh shoot. Mix that all up. It's a nice, thick sauce. Now I'm going to add some of this hot water. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to add. I guess I'll just add the whole thing with the noodles too. What's supposed to happen is the hot water is supposed to cook the egg so that it's safe to eat. Though I know that in like Caesar salad, they put raw eggs in, so maybe it's okay? I don't know. Stir, stir, stir. This is supposed to taste like tonkatsu broth, I think, but I'm not even really sure what tonkatsu broth tastes like because my favorite ramen is from this place in Los Angeles called Tatsu Ramen. It's called the Red Ramen and it's ground beef. I think the reason why I like it so much is because it's really sweet. I have a really bad sweet tooth, I guess. All right, so that's all mixed and it looks like the egg did cook. I'll just let that sit for a little bit, maybe do a little more cooking. And then I'm gonna cut up this green onion. These green onions are really thick, like their width is large. Here's a hack for you. If you wanna grow your own green onions, all you need to do is after you finish this green part, you just take the white bulby stem and put it in water and then the green part will grow back and then you can plant it in some soil. I did that, but then I never ate the green onion and it's just like all over the dirt outside, so. All right, I think I cut more than enough green onion. I'm gonna put that on top of the ramen. And it looks like this. Doesn't that look delicious? I don't know. Depends on your tastes, I guess. All right, time for me to try this. Here we go. Smells, smells a little like chicken. This is supposed to be like fancy instant ramen and we just made it even more fancy. Bon appetit, y'all. Hmm, okay. Wow, that's really creamy. The noodles, I'm pretty confident I cooked them well. And then the sauce is very creamy. Okay, that's nice. It splashed me in the face. Okay. It's hearty. Um, I can't really taste any of the individual flavors of the mayo or the egg or the garlic, but um, I feel like I'm tasting the soup packet flavoring. My broth is definitely thicker than most ramen broths at ramen places. Like, it's it's more of a paste, like a like 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 a liquid paste, as opposed to like a soup. Mm. I'm sure the ramen will taste different depending on what kind of ramen you use. Last time I used a shin ramen and it was the spicy kind and 
You know I can't do spicy, so maybe that's what was lacking. I didn't use the entire seasoning packets because I was too afraid of the spice, but mm, this definitely gives the ramen a creamy, hearty, flavorful touch. That was thick. Really good. A noodle just popped out of my mouth. I seem to have this problem where when I'm eating, um, food just falls out of my mouth. I'm not really sure why. You know what would, oh, you know what would be really good with this ramen is corn. I love corn in my ramen. When I was younger, I used to go to this ramen place with my family and there was a ramen style flavor called butter corn. And I always got that ramen and it was ramen with corn and like a chunk of butter in it. So it would melt while you ate it. Yum. So I've been to Japan and I would definitely say Japan is one of my favorite places to go in the world. Um, and my biggest regret is that when I was in Japan, I didn't eat like ramen because I was vegan. So I didn't have like sushi or sashimi or ramen or any of that hella good Japanese food because I was vegan. I think I went to a vegan restaurant and I had a ramen and it was like a coconut milk soup, but I definitely need to go to Japan sometime in my life again and I'm gonna eat up all that good food. Maybe I'll film it. All right, thank you so much for making this luxurious ramen with me. We turned a boring instant ramen into a five star dish, I guess, with just mayo and other things in your fridge. If you make this, I hope you enjoy it too. And I can't wait to see you guys again in the next video. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you soon. Bye.